hello everyone, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Dillings video. You may be wondering why. You may be like, didn't you say you were done? Um, I also switched to Aster, and what does he say after this? Well, I never decided to actually finish, so we don't know. I don't know which video I have that in, so... Oh, let's see it again. However, while we're on the subject, I did have some problems earlier, and I was going to actually record something else until I realized I don't remember what Asper says after you win. And I'm like, oh, I kind of want to know. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot a number of things. <laughs> As you can imagine, I forgot my sanity. I, uh, I, I left it in a box. I don't know which box. I guess that's part of what losing our sanity is like. You have it in a box and the box just goes somewhere. It doesn't really tell you why. It just flees the area as if you're just going to do something to it and control it. I, I think I'm starting to just so I don't think I'm making sense anymore. <laughs> I think I'm going to go insane. <laughs> okay, okay, listen, YouTube. I can, I can be very reasonable. I am willing to pay for things, but only when I am considered a human being. You may be confused. You may be like, what do you mean? Aren't you are a human being? What 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 kind of delusions are you having? Uh, no, I'm a number in this system. That's what I am. I am not treated like a human being, and until I am, I will not pay for anything. YouTube, do you know how long I have felt dehumanized? I may not be oppressed. I may not be actively stigmatized against, but I am dehumanized in a way that is lesser and less acknowledged. And you may be thinking that this is bullshit, but I will explain myself in a second. Give me a moment to satisfy my curiosity. It seems I had nothing to worry about. Your skills are incredible. You've proven your worth, so allow me to express my appreciation. I thank you for proving that you're a true duelist. So much of a duelist that I feel like doing you myself. Oh, tag duels are fun, but I'm a professional. And on the pro circuit, we all compete alone. So instead of dueling with you, I want to duel against you. I'll be waiting for you on the pro circuit. Oh, I see. You want to deal me. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Yeah, he's right here. I mean, I guess I could have staged this somehow, but the respawn rates... Uh, I don't know it. I don't know what, what the respawning is like, and also the statistics required to actually stage this. I'm not really sure that I uh, know them well enough to have done this. Especially when you consider this is obviously... It's difficult to stage something that has a very low statistical chance of being successfully staged on the same day that you are going to do something else. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure what exactly that means, but he was here when I came back on, and I thought that was funny. So since he said he wanted to duel me so badly, I decided to take him on. I mean, he, he is here, and as tradition, I will destroy him. It is a tradition. I just have to whenever I see him. And because it's, ju it's just a thing. It's a compulsion. It's something I don't fully understand. But I just have to do it. And it's fun. 
However, I don't really feel like going back into ranked at the moment. I will actually do something else. What you might find to be rather cursed. Well, my bad. I am cursed, so if you think this is cursed, then uh, by all means, but I don't think everyone is going to agree with you. I'm going to actually uh, go do some ranked duels in... I I'm going to go over into ranked rush duels. And you be, you may be like, what? Yes. Well, I, well, I decide... If I want to upload some videos, I'm going to go into Rank Rushed Duels instead. Because I have basically not just- I, I've basically been like, I'm not going to rush- I'm not going to do this. But it's actually a, a form of content that I haven't done yet. So I can safely make videos for this and upload them. But I only have plans to upload one video of this. And it's going to be here. Wait a minute, if I want to upload something tonight, then this video isn't going to be out tonight. Um. Oh yeah. And because this is, well, I already went into ranked, so I had to duel her. Okay, hold on. It's my opponent's turn. YouTube, I am quite reasonable. It's just, with the amount of money I'm given per month, as someone that is considered disabled, whether you think I am or not, that is, I am not given enough for 13 bucks a month to be worth it, to be worth it. And now, as I, as I said, I can be reasonable, but that's not what's allowed under the current system, is it? No, it's not allowed. It's not allowed, and that is a problem. I have, I have, I have something against you for this. Y you think my ad blocker is against the terms of service? Okay. Listen. Lower the price, okay? Lower the price of premium, and I'm sure more people will be willing to purchase it. But while it's at this ridiculous amount, and the world economy is going downhill, there is no way in hell a lot of people are going to have the money to afford premium at that price on a monthly basis. And I, I looked up how much premium costs for an entire year. Over $130. Wait, is that true? Um, hold on. I meant to say over $100, which is correct, but I I said $13 and there are 12 months. Okay, yeah, that is over $130 in the amount I said. Okay, well, my point is it's ridiculous. And I I'm just like, that is way too much. If I was living on my own, and I had to seriously budget, based on your policies, YouTube, I would not be allowed to use your website. Because I would not be able to afford it. I would have to decide, one, if I would like to eat that m month, or if I would like to watch your videos without ads. And let me tell you, if I went with your ads, I'm pretty sure one of them would give my computer something. I don't have the money to replace a laptop. Hell, I need money for new clothes. And I, I... I mean it. I'm not being like, Oh, I need a lot of new clothes. I want to look fabulous. And that may be true, but I've lost weight. In fact, I've lost plenty of weight to the point where a cardiologist was like, You lost a few pounds. And I'm like, yes. And I'm here suffering because I need clothes that better fit me now that I've lost enough weight. I'm just like, this is, this is insane. And I'm like, Mom, I need some new clothes. But I don't feel like going to the store right now, so I'm probably going to ask for clothes for Christmas. 
you know, one of the times of the month, one of the times of the year that I can ask her for something like clothes and I don't feel like it's ridiculous. I just don't want to seem very entitled and, you know, I don't want to make her spend too much. Although, apparently, in my brain, my brain is like, we can make her spend a lot, right? We want all the, th all the things. I'm not even sure what we were getting, brain. Dear God. Like, what were, what were we spending money on that was, that was so great? I mean, seriously. But, uh, I'm just going to be real, I'm just going to be real honest here. I don't have enough money to cover everything I need. The only reason I'm able to discuss the possibility of getting new clothes and things like this is because of my mother, which uh, isn't something I should be saying at my age, but it is a real, tr it is reality, it is the truth, and unfortunately, that's just who I am at the moment. Will I one day be able to break out of this? No idea. It's... I don't know. Am I in the? Am I in a timeline that allows me to actually have a life, or am I in one of the darker timelines? I don't know right now. That's terrifying, and I know that. But at the same, at the same time, I'm just thinking, as terrifying as certain things may be, I would rather, you know, I, I would rather accept and that something is the truth then say that it's i don't want to lie about it that's stupid i don't have to lie about things i don't have to lie about anything but i i do think that it is i i don't think it's a good look for me that at my age, I'm still depending on my parents. I do think that makes me look bad. But, I mean, as someone that has said that I am disabled, I just, I, there's no middle ground here. Like, I'm here criticizing Social Security. Wait a minute. Uh, oh. Oh, right. Uh. I thought that I was ignoring something in my hand the last turn. I thought it was actually in my hand, but it wasn't. And then I was like, wait a minute. Why do I see that card in my hand that I didn't ha- Oh. Oh, I activated a trap and now it's there, but I don't get to use it because I got my ass destroyed. Yeah, um... Uh, yeah, this is bad. But anyway, it, it's just... I think it's really ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, it's ridiculous because... I'm not one of those people that are that's, like, bedridden. Oh god, I just summoned the devil. I mean, Luke isn't the devil, but he, uh... Is very, um... How should I put this? Uh... He likes to be very dramatic. I'll put it like that. And I'm not different. I'm pretty much the same. I too like to be dramatic, even in similar ways, to be fair. So I completely understand. Um, but also I just- I understand if I'm destroyed here too. <laughs> But, I mean, at least I get a fresh new hand next turn. That's one of my favorite parts of Rush Builds, as well as the unlimited amount of summons. And I don't need to, uh, bother with pendulums. Pendulums would be redundant. Because of the unlimited amount of summons that you can do in Rush Builds. Although you do actually have a limited amount, because you only have so many monsters in your deck. Which is why decking out is, is a real issue for, for some people. Like me. I've decked out. 
Yeah, I'll just be real honest. Hmm. So, uh, I don't think it's. I, I think it's quite. I think it's kind of stupid uh, that is against the terms of service. And to do what exactly? Uh, what What am I supposed to do? Per afford premium when I know I don't. Uh, I can't afford it. Like YouTube. Make something affordable and more people are going to be willing to actually purchase that service. If you want us to use it so badly, make it affordable. Although the average miner may not be able to uh, may not be able to use your service anymore if you do that. But you know, I, I can't control what miners are able to do, so you know. Um, but I did realize something that was very terrifying, and I don't think I fully went into it, but it's just, I didn't have, I didn't have a normal childhood, and that did, uh, that made me look bad. Why am I saying that my, that my horrible childhood made me look bad? Because I was never a normal child. Why would that make me look bad? Because I... I got used to things that most people aren't supposed to be used to at this age. You know, the age that Yuga and Luke are at, and Roman and Gakuto, um, Gavin. I'm just like, I, 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 I sometimes view them like, like they're, they're I mean, they're characters, so you're, no one's going to insult me over that, but still, I was like, oh, damn. I'm trying to behave, but I can't. Around the children. I guess you don't want me around your children, then. I'd probably be a bad influence, although the worst I can probably do is pass on my bad habit of cursing. Uh, that's probably the worst I will do to your children. Although I really hope I'm not going to do that to your children at all, because hopefully you're a good parent. And you can just make them not watch this content. Because I will not parent your child for you. I could do that myself if I wanted to parent. And honestly, I don't. Which is why I don't. I would be a terrible parent. That's why I'm not parenting anyone. Okay. Uh, guys, that's going to wrap things up for this video. I'm going to come back in a different video that I can upload. So, so this wraps things up for the Tag Duel Tournament for now. I might be back again, who knows, but I will have to stop recording soon, so I do have to keep that in mind. But for now, I can keep going.